Welcome back. We are now just one week away from a special session on property insurance in Tallahassee. Rates have been soaring all across the state. Governor Ron DeSantis spoke about this issue today at Seminole State College in Sanford. And some people have seen obnoxious rate increases. Part of the reason that that happens is because we don't really have a competitive market. A lot of these companies, major companies, have, have left the state because of how hostile the underlying framework is. Well, today we also learned three more companies are dropping nearly 70,000 policies across the state of Florida. That, of course, is going to force even more people to find new coverage just as we approach hurricane season. Fox 35's Craig Patrick takes a look at that issue tonight. Several things are driving up our home insurance costs, including losses from disasters in other states and inflation, the rising costs of repairing and rebuilding damaged homes, and Florida's location, making it more susceptible to future hurricanes. Plus, in Florida, we have a rash of roofing fraud in which bad actors are flooding the insurance companies with claims for unnecessary roof repairs or replacements and lawsuits demanding they pay. And the carriers often settle to keep their legal defense costs from spiraling and making things worse. The result is that some insurance companies are failing financially, while others are withdrawing or scaling back on doing business in Florida. And those who continue to write policies here are charging substantially higher rates. We tried to address it during the regular session and were unsuccessful. So the legislature will go into another special session next week. We and likely they don't yet know what they'll come up with, but they hope to release a plan by Wednesday. I think we're going to get really, really significant reforms. The possibilities include scaling back roof coverage and making it harder to sue over roofing claims to try to reduce fraud. The state could also increase oversight and enforcement to better police insurance fraud. Craig Patrick, Fox 35 News.